Welcome to The Natural Healing Reel. I am your host, Jackie. Our guest today has been a singer, performer, and workshop leader for many years. For the past 20 years, she's been a holistic voice teacher, and she comes our way after experiencing a personal tragedy. Her program is The Crystalline Voice, Transformation Through Sound. And if that's not enough, she's a licensed, certified vibrational sound therapist, publisher of the Voice of Women's Wisdom, which you can find on Amazon. And she's the member of the Sound Healers Association, Holistic Business Association, and Natural Life Business Partnership. Please help me welcome Ruth Ratliff to the Natural Healing Real. Hi, Ruth. Hey, Jackie. Thank you so much for inviting me. Really, it's a, such an honor to be here. Oh, I'm excited. This is uh, kind of new cutting edge. I don't know if it's new, but for our society, I believe it is. And I'm so excited to, to hear about, um, I don't know if we can get it all in on one podcast. So let's just, let's just share what, uh, what this, how this all began for you is usually a good place to start. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah everybody has their story, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, as you said, I was a, a performer, a musician, a, a singer uh, for many, many years of my life, and uh, and then a voice teacher for twenty years. So I felt almost this 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 journey into sound therapy was like a natural progression for me. And I, I focus a lot on the voice, like in my program, Crystal and Voice, among other things that I offer, uh, because I noticed that from my own experience growing up uh, in an alcoholic family dynamic, and then I lost my family through tragic circumstances before the age of 30. And uh, so I had a lot of heavy energies and emotions that I needed to process. And I absolutely know for myself that my relationship with music, with singing, with sharing my voice, with exploring, um, vocalizing, uh, helped me move through and transmute those, uh, those trauma energies. It's, your voice is like your own, um, it's your own instrument of healing, it truly is. So, so with that said, that was why I wanted to explore even further these, the potential uh, of it uh, to heal and to, uh, to expand you. It's not just for, he we have to heal first, right? So now we expand after the healing. Mm -hmm. And our voice gives off this vibration which I think like our whole body vibrates and, and, it, and it lifts us. We were chatting earlier about, I was, I like to sing as well before. I think all of us like to sing in the shower or I hope we do, <laughs> but a lot of us don't uh, probably trust to sing out loud to people. So um, how, for people like, like that who are shy and think they can't hold a note or or sing is there is there hope for for healing through <laughs> through your voice and singing oh, gosh yes it, it has nothing to do with singing it, it has so see your voice literally like you say this is a such a huge subject because the the voice has been used in, for thousands and thousands of years in all sorts of cultures with you know combined with music and dance uh, to to move energy, to move stuck energy and for healing. Uh, and they, they're not worried about, you know, whether they're flat or, you know, pitchy or not, or if their voice doesn't sounds good. It's really about being, being authentic and fully self-expressed with the voice. People, it, people are very, uh, especially in our culture, I think, uh, you know, American Idol and The Voice and all that are great shows, but I think they did us all a disservice because uh, people feel like they have to sound like that to sing, and everybody's like, oh my God, I mean, these are, you know, these, the, these called the, the top of the crop here. Uh, they've studied voice for many, many years. They've, <clears throat> they're, they're professionals. We're, not everybody has to have that kind of an instrument. Your instrument is beautiful because it is yours and yours alone. It is unique expression of your soul in this density. Mm. It is your soul's yeah. expression in this physical, literally. 
that's where you want to come from when you're making sounds. So I would tell people that have a little shyness about even um, starting, say, a practice of vocal toning or even singing in the shower or the car. Uh, it's it's really about it's not about how you sound. It's about how you feel. Mm -hmm. How do you feel when you're singing the like? The, the most amazing song in the world. Like I love, um, I love Journey. I'm an 80s girl. I grew up in the 80s, so I love, <laughs> I, love, I, love I love 80s rock, you know. Uh, and uh, Don't Stop Believing comes on the radio. I can't control myself. <laughs> Do I sound exactly? <laughs> I don't sound like Steve Perry. So funny, actually. I have to just share with you because me and the, my very first love of my life after 40 years have reconnected. And he wasn't able to listen to Journey anymore for 40 years because that that came out when we were dating and we went to the concert and we'd sing it. And, and then all of a sudden, and I didn't realize I hadn't really heard it much since 40 years either. All of a sudden, Journey is on every time. I have never heard so much Journey in the last few months. <laughs> yeah, Isn't that that funny? Interesting. Yeah, yeah, well, I think spirit communicates with us through music as well. I think you're right. How many times have you heard just the right song or a song that is exactly the song? say you're thinking about somebody that passed and their favorite song comes on or or just a song where the lyrics are so poignantly um, relevant to what you're going through? You or know, answering the question to something that you have been asking and then you're thinking, really, is that the answer? Of course yeah. it is. Excuse me one moment. I have to just close sure. because somebody's decided to mow their lawn. <laughs> <laughs> it's live. It's live YouTube here, live, live podcast. <laughs> right? Authenticity. We love it. <laughs> so sorry, carry on. I just no, I, it's okay. It's great it's that you said how much you love Journey. <laughs> so yeah, it's just it's how you feel. I mean, it gives you this beautiful high vibe feeling inside of you. And it, it clears away a lot of the crap, a lot of the cobwebs, because it's vibration, like we're all vibration. So yeah, I tell people to just start, uh, allow yourself to come from that position of honoring your voice rather than dishonoring it by comparing it to other people, because there's no comparison. Your voice is as unique as your fingerprint. There never will be another like yours ever. That's interesting, right? Because I don't think we think about that, do we? Like, nope. at all. And no. I think we're all very, very judgmental of when we hear our voice, like that's what I sound like, right? Like, because we don't hear ourselves, we think we sound a certain way. Interesting. Yeah, and if you do, um, there's an exercise I'll work with my students with, um, where you put, you cup your ears forward and then if you if you start speaking or, or singing, you you have a, a it's it's a much more um, accurate representation of how you sound to other people because the low frequencies tend to hang here and the high frequencies travel out farther. They so you're only getting like a partial complement of your voice inside of your head. Plus you're hearing it through your skull through bone. So there's a lot of reasons why it sounds a little different, but uh, yeah, yeah. I, I tell people to just make funny sounds. That's what I work with more anymore, Jacqueline, is because uh, I, I retired, I hate that word, but I stopped voice teaching to focus more on the sound therapy um, last summer. And uh, I really work more with organic sounding now, which is really cool because you wouldn't believe what starts coming out of your mouth and what you can clear with just allowing the voice of your body to come forth. So that's what crystalline voice is all about, is I will mentor people uh, and work them through that with somatic movement um, and uh, EFT tapping and, uh, and journaling. Uh, and then using organic sound to uh, connect to parts of their body. It's very healing. Well, and how many of us don't feel heard? Oh, <laughs> nobody as far as I know. Yeah. I know my sister um, passed away a few years ago and Sorry. she always said to me, she ended up um, very, getting a very quick um, stage four throat cancer. 
Oh. And it was right through my dad passing and then a separation going through with um, her husband after many years of being married. But I remember her always saying to me, I just don't feel heard. And at the end of, it went very quickly, unfortunately. Um, and at the end of it, she literally had no voice, even though she, they put in the tracheotomy. And, um, and it really, really um, gave me a deeper understanding of how important what you're speaking about is, because a lot of us are just not confident enough to state our truth yes. because people shut us down or we're embarrassed or what whatever that is you know um it's so important this what you're speaking about <laughs> yeah that's incredible yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry for yeah you. yeah and and interestingly oh, enough my dad was a jazz pianist for his whole life right so we oh, had wow. we grew up in the, and and mm -hmm. all three of us girls sang all the time in the house christmas parties all the musicians be over and of course we'd be singing slap of our lungs and it was always quite the fun party right but uh mm -hmm. a beautiful beautiful voice she had but just wasn't able she just wasn't feeling heard so interesting interesting yeah fascinating actually yeah they it, it's i've heard and i do believe this that our healing <clears throat> or our the i should say the um the representation of the symptoms of what we have the pain that we have in our in our bio field it starts out there and it comes into the physical the physical is like the last manifestation of of the trauma interesting i've not heard that before that's really yeah. interesting it starts in your energy body and if you you know you're familiar with of course a lot of people speaking now about past lives you know oh my god what what the stuff we're carrying right <laughs> it's, it's wow what a load right uh so we you know that's a lot of times that will come in and if there is that constriction or that not being heard or being shut down you know of course everybody has varying different levels of that it doesn't mean that you if you don't feel heard you're going to immediately get throat cancer it doesn't mean that uh there are a lot of different levels to that but uh but yeah it's uh it's quite it's fascinating to me uh that that that's how it shows itself in the body and i think our body as a repository uh, so to speak for uh, for these energies, these these constrictions and traumas, uh, it speaks to us in so many different ways. And it speaks to us for many, many years sometimes before we, you know, sometimes we don't listen at all and then it has to like slam us, hit us with a two by four by giving us, you know, a stroke or whatever uh, to really pay attention. Hey, look, you've got some healing you've got to do. So I do feel that the body's intelligence is trying to help us with our healing i do i totally agree with you 100 percent. i landed on my head three times and i'm like okay what? literally <laughs> landed like you really, really, yeah first went off a swing head first feet flying in the air head first into the cement another one right out oh. to try to catch the baby going down the stairs boom another five feet head first like just you know just silliness right and i'm like okay <laughs> Yeah, what are you trying to tell me here? I know I'm clearly not picking up the message. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you, you know, you wonder, like, what, especially when things happen, they <laughs> rip over and over, you know? <laughs> wow. 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 Yeah, but we are not, uh, so many of us are just not aware. You see my little angel wigs are popping up. It looks like a mustache behind me, but they're angel wigs <laughs> hanging on my fireplace. <laughs> I see them now. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just we're just not paying attention. You know, we we kind of think, but then we just so many of us just brush things off as coincidence, or I think just it's just the lack of awareness and education that we have not had. Exactly. How come well, we things like speaking with you yeah. and you sharing this incredible wealth of information? It's so important, right? So important because people, I don't think that we hear this stuff. 
unless you're having know somebody or you have a conversation with you and or somebody who's experienced and has this it's just invaluable so you know it, it is i think it's definitely a, people need to hear this more and more and i'll tell you something i need to speak it i need to speak yes. this is i'm a healthy skeptic i'm goosebumps everywhere right? goosebumps <laughs> everywhere you, you do Thank you. Right. Yeah, my whole body's on end here. Sorry. Yeah, that that was a truth. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is something for me. I'm, I, you know, I say it's all about me. All this, this heal, this journey I'm doing to help other people is really about why. <laughs> it's about my journey of healing, and uh, you know, I, I still, I've seen crazy stuff. I've seen UFO orbs. I see them in my house. I see little. I've seen crazy little things going past me. It looked like little, little, um, little, what are they called in the sky? Forgetting word, word, um, sounds like. <laughs> I love comment, 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 <laughs> little comments, yeah. right? It, I have I mean, video of that. I have so much video. I had a video outside my house and I came down in the middle of the night and I literally have me videoing my video cameras of, orbs and 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 think you know it, it's just incredible what is going on around us and we have no idea no and but that's but even with all that and all of the stuff the clients will tell me about me at, you know during after their sessions and I, I still have this you know this conditioning that's going um well maybe <laughs> you know yeah so that's what i yeah. say we ha we all we you know we were not brought up with the belief in real magic real magic and there's a book actually out by dean radin called real magic i ha i highly recommend it i love it um he's a scientist a skeptical scientist you know and he's but he's like oh no it's magic it's science and magic together right <laughs> These are my favorite people, these scientists <laughs> that are proving this, like uh, Joe Dispenza, Bruce Lipton, Greg Braden. I mean, they are scientists and they won't share anything unless it's test uh, time proven, right? And it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. And still, even at that, people will be dismissive. Right. So right. it's a society, I believe, conditioning that we have had for so long, oh. you know. Absolutely. So many overlays um, of mistrust. And I think, honestly, I don't know if a lot of people are like me, but generally, you know, we're more similar than dissimilar. Then there's a part of me that really, really, really wants to believe. I mean, really wants to believe. But there, it's like a little girl part of me, but she's so afraid of being disappointed. You know what I'm saying? Totally do. Totally. Right, right following along with you. Yes. hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. As a little girl, I grew up, um, I, I saw spirit of my mom. Very cool. And, uh, and then of course I was very young and was laughed at. And so I kind of went through a lifetime in fear because I was seen and I was very sensitive to the energies around me. And it was scary because I had nobody to talk to or share when I did share with my family, you know, my sister laugh and, <laughs> and oh, even exactly. and stuff, oh. right. And so, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's something I know to be truth. I know that we're eternal. I know energy is infinite. But that whole, this whole, um, just not educated, just, just ignorance to what is really going on. How are we really connected to this universe and how do we work properly, right? Well, this is, this is probably one of the biggest keys is what you're teaching. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just started uh, binge watching <laughs> um, Ghost whisperer is that the name of it with um remember that show way yeah. back when in the yeah. 90s is it good i yeah i like it i think oh she ha she had her gr and i was thinking about you she had her grandmother to mentor her because her grandmother could also see spirit 
So she would, you know, she had somebody in her life, and I mean, it's a fictional character, but I kind of identified that with you a little bit, being I can't imagine what that must have been like for you to not, uh, to, to, to be seeing these unusual things that you know other people can't see. Oh my gosh, that's... And just to be laughed at about it, and, right? Oh, and... that, to be ridiculed, oh. Yeah. For something that you know, this is what I see, this is my experience. Talk about being disempowered. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's been a, it's been a, a, a life oh. being an awareness that a, a journey that I've been through for sure. <laughs> of healing, yeah, yeah. But now we're beginning see now the people that now you're coming into your own with that, right? Because we are so giving people that can do that, that have this gift as, as you do so much more, not only credence, but we're, we're going to them for guidance, you know, and, uh, but boy, you came through fire. To yeah, get yeah, yeah, I, I definitely chose a whole life of fight or flight for some reason. <laughs> Just, <yeah. laughs> These last few years of uh, hit the wall drama down in the cement. Um, yeah, really. You know, I, well, they say without the darkest night, you don't get infinite light. And so, Beautiful. though I get um, kind of like, oh my God, you've had, so, you know, I get kind of that, oh, poor you. And, you know, do, that kind of thing. Everything always happens to you, <laughs> type thing, which is such a negative. It makes it feel worse, right? But it's all perception and how, yeah. And so I've really learned this last while how to, to re-perceive and and i think that's kind of a whole journey for people who are waking up wonderful and that's probably a big reason why you're doing this podcast too right it is yeah yeah loss of my daughter and my father and my sister and my granddaughter and my like it and my daughter oh my gosh. and it all happened it, on top of the beginning of these concussions and just just brain traumas and um, you know, going through separation with my husband, it was just got into an unhealthy place. And it was like, if there was another thing that could go wrong, it did. <laughs> so oh, grateful yes. to be here. Great yes, to yes, be alive. yes, yes, and, and yes. it, this is how dark night of the soul. I started this podcast. I wasn't really understanding that I was starting a podcast, but <laughs> I was spoken to on a, you know, Brian Rose from London Real was, and I signed up, but next thing you know, I didn't even have a selfie. I, <laughs> I was, I'd never, yeah, never been in front of the camera. So I've just um, been working through it and moving through it. And it's not, I'm not a professional, but I am authentic. And I yes. am sharing the wisdom and the awareness of what's real and what's really needing for healing instead of the oxycotton mm. and, whatever else they are feeding our society mm -hmm. so it's not healing us it's killing us so well, you are a warrior apparently apparently yes. i was in warrior mode a lot <laughs> trying to step down i mean that you're still walking around on this earth with all that loss is uh, a testament to your strength so thank you yeah Yes, and thank you for this podcast. Oh my gosh! Yes, yes. So, um, so you were playing those singing bowls for me, and I know that I know those that when you played that, the sound of those bowls behind you hits you in the soul in a place that is almost like an instant healing feeling. Mm. Tell me about about. Can you share about those bowls? I sure can. Yep. Uh, give you a little bit of the, I love the science. Um, you know, I was a bio major in college, so I love science and I love the melding of science and spirituality. I think they belong together. I'm not talking religion and science, although there's a lot of spirituality and religion, even though through the dogma, but yes, we have you know, this melding and uh, that's what I, I really love doing. So yeah, it's, it's based on the premise. Sound therapy is based on the premise that everything is vibration. 
the air around you is vibrating, the chair you're sitting on is vibrating, you are vibrating. We are beings of vibration. We are made up of many, many, many different frequencies. And sound is actually a vibration that can travel through air, liquids, and solids. And it actually has the capacity to shift us biologically and energetically. As I was talking about our bio field earlier, you know, it shifts that. And it uses the metal and crystal singing bowls, the voice. There's a gong behind me you can't really see. Uh, and other instruments like chimes and so forth. Uh, and these are all unusual instruments. They all have their own particular attributes, um, like the the these bowls um have oh i can't reach it these bowls have a lot of resonance they have you can hear they 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 expand a lot and they speak to a lot of different frequencies in our body and the crystal bowls are usually uh one free one well, at least one frequency but they are more um, mono frequency and they produce what's called a sine wave and we'll do a little demo later you can hear that and that puts us into a very deep state of relax so all of these bowls and sound therapy in general is made to trigger the relaxation response that's it's that's one of the basic things that sound does but the therapy does um, and you know sound is a physical thing it it, it can actually affect us physically uh, it can reform matter uh, we were already using it like in uh, ultrasound for cleaning your teeth, um, breaking up kidney stones, um, ultrasound for, ba you know, see the, to image the babies in, uh, in the womb. Uh, and, you know, if you, um, if you, like, say you have a, um, uh, like a glass, you know, the woman with the, the singer, blah, right? <laughs> so what's happening is her, the resonant frequency of her voice is in training or syncing up with the resonant frequency of the glass and that is how it, it it starts shaking and then it breaks so sound therapy isn't breaking anything okay we don't do that uh, but what it does do it decreases your heart rate your blood pressure so you get into a nice deep state of, uh, of zen and it also can facilitate the release of hormones as well uh, like melatonin uh, it can um, it can connect the two hemispheres of the brain. You know how we have the right and the left and they are, do have different attributes? Well, it can create a neurological bridge between these two hemispheres and that can get us into a really wonderful state called the resting brain state, which has been coined by neuroscientists. And in this resting brain state, we can access um, heart-brain coherence, so if something's coherent, it's in sync, it's in balance. So that's where our brain and our heart you know, they talk to each other nicely and they're communicating on a very deep level. And that can open up all sorts of perceptual doors to uh, creativity, to focus, to problem solving. Uh, also, I talk a lot about healing. Yes, they have found in different studies that, I don't know how they figured this out, I'd like to know this, but uh, that trauma, energy, it's all energy, right, is actually held in the nucleus of our cells. And that, you know, sound therapy can be a reminder stimulus to release that trauma. And that's the premise of my, the work that I'm doing with crystalline voice. But another piece of it um, is that I've noticed for myself too, with this work with, because I'm, you know, surrounded by it a lot. Uh, and uh, I've noticed that I don't, I don't uh, get triggered as much by life's ups and downs. I have a much more sense of equanimity and balance and focus and call it I'm going to call it grace and I my clients will tell me that they'll say you know after a couple sessions they'll be like you know I'm noticing like shifts in the way I my perception of things and it helps you process there's a processing going on because of that uh, the coherence uh, between those two uh, hemispheres and the uh, and with the heart. And uh, Jackie, have you ever heard of heart math? You probably I have. Did, right? Yes, I did the yeah. Joe Dispenza course and oh, gosh, was introduced a few years ago. Um, and um, I did the advanced course in Vancouver. Here, Joe came and they actually gave us 
um, all heart math. Beautiful. Because they were testing it back then. And I have um, a heart math app and, and it's, 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 you put, I'm listening to it and it is, it's so incredible. I mean, that's where instant healing can happen is in that space, right? I mean, that's where people get up out of wheelchairs is in that space of brain heart coherence. And it's, and, and like Greg Braden and all those scientists find out that the heart has a, a brain, right? Like it's an, a, a whole entity organ by itself. And, you know, we used to be like, do you listen to your heart or your head? And we never really knew which one we should be listening. You know, it was like the people on our shoulders type thing. And it, yeah, the, the knowledge, it's just so incredible right now. I, I just love, love it and love what you're sharing because it's, it's real and it's powerful and it's ours. Yes. And it's ours. It is our birthright, indeed. Our birthright that we've not been shared. Yes, yes. Yeah, I love it. I love the uh, the information that's coming out about the heart now. It's uh, it I it really is the master of the body, the master of you know us. <laughs> I really think that's our soul's uh, resting place, the locus of our soul. Um, and because there, there's so much more information they're finding out that the heart sends to the brain than the brain sends to the heart. It's something like, what did they say, 10,000 times more powerful, powerful electromagnetically than the brain? And exactly. it also produces hormones that were previously and, and, and neurotransmitters that were previously thought to be only produced by the brain. You know, the brain's great, but it's like our computer. I really... You know, I, I don't want to, I'm not dissing on the brain because I love my brain, but, you know, I, I feel like the the, the balance. You, it, well, and that's really important what you're saying, because I didn't understand that either. The subconscious brain, which the, what do they say, 60, 80,000 thoughts a day that we're having, mm -hmm. is just a computer chip. So we're listening to this J -j 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 all day, which are the same thoughts we had yesterday, usually, which are negative if we start to listen to them. And, and if they're not even real or true, they're a perception or something we heard that we take in as truth. And it, it's just phenomenal what, what the information now and makes sense why we're sick. Why we're where we are, right? It, it, no, the awareness, the awareness of this is growing in leaps and bounds. And thank you, finally. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 right. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh, it's a, uh, yeah, it, and just to, to believe, you know, I think the, the idea that we all, you know, we always have to have proof, and it has to be scientific proof. Okay, I, let's take a look at science right now. Human, the knowledge of human science, what's our knowledge of the known universe? If that, right? I mean, hello. You know, there's so much, what is Shakespeare said, there's so much in heaven and earth, Horatio, that man has dreamed, you know, that we just don't know. So let's, like Dean Radin said, let's open our minds. Why are, you know, because of all this ego crap and this probably, you know, uh, we're being, this information is being suppressed, but it, it can't be suppressed forever. It's coming out. There's too many of us that have, oh, I yeah. think, touched into it now. Yeah. That, yeah. It's and it's so you get a taste of that, like just you play in those bowls. I now understand why. Just immediately, I was like, oh, right, because it it it. Um, well, you were just explaining, right? It, it, yeah, it just yeah. teaches you and and right. balances. Like it, it's just something so profound that it, there's not really words to explain how that feeling is. Once yes. you have a taste of that that's a better feeling than any feeling you'll have. And so, yeah, so you just want to start to, to, to explore and, and to yeah. have more of that. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> and a lot of it um, now, there are a lot more scientific studies being done about the effects of sound therapy through psychoacoustics, the field of psychoacoustics and so forth. Uh, but uh, so much of, you know, sound therapy is now experiential. It's really like science, sound therapy is like a transitional science. 
We're, 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 we're really, you know, the, the experiential part of it is, you know, you can't ignore that and that should not be discounted. That's huge. You know, with people say, oh, after I come for a session, you know, I, I walk in feeling like crap and I leave feeling great. You know, okay, why would you discount that? Oh, it's the placebo effect. Okay, see, I have another theory about the placebo effect. <laughs> I think the placebo effect is actually the power of us. You know, that's our power. Why would they discount the placebo effect? I have no idea. But anyway, um, be that as it may, um, it's mostly experiential at this point. So we're almost like developing the science that is coming up to explaining why this works, you know? Yeah. So it's actually pulling us along to, uh, to open our minds more like with quantum physics. Um, so that yeah. that whole that whole field is fascinating to me. Yes, and people need to lead, people like yourself, right? Need to stand up and lead, and and to 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 live and to to show that this is real. Yeah, this is. Yeah, thank and you. To share and to share, yes. And to share, yeah. And, to share. and sometimes people don't want to share because they don't want to be laughed at or walking through that fear. I know I walk through it just to do, you know, this podcast because everybody's, but they're going to say something anyway. So <laughs> oh, you know, there's so much, there's so many more people that are more, they, they want this the most, a lot I, of people. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so and did you, so did you come upon this? You had a bit of a personal a tragedy in your, in your life. And, and is that how this kind of really came forth for you or how, how did yeah, I think I've been, I think I've honestly been preparing for, to take on sound therapy um, for my whole life with my work with sound and music and also with the, uh, the trauma, um, also developing my own intuition. Um, I, I don't see spirit at per se, but I, I have heard, um, I'm clairaudient uh, at times I have heard things, um, heard messages. I feel like I get messages in my heart a lot, um, my heart space. I feel like I, I can feel, I think that's my one of my gifts is my intuition and just knowing things. I just know them, you know? Yes. <laughs> like one time I, um, I had a, um, uh, I was working um, probably an hour away, really nasty commute, you know, at a law firm. <laughs> fun stuff working with lawyers <laughs> sorry guys i'm sorry i love you all <laughs> but, but yeah it wasn't a very uplifting environment shall we say so i wanted to you know go to another uh type of job and i i went for an interview with this um, at a retirement community to be an executive secretary there yes this is like 30 years ago more than that and uh i walked out of the interview and i knew i mean knew beyond the shadow of a doubt i had that job and it was the craziest feeling because I had never felt that before. And even the next day, the uh, executive director calls me and he says, I'm so sorry. Thanks for coming in. But we gave the job to another gal. I hung up the phone and I went, no, I have that job. Sure enough, guess what? The next day he calls me back and gave me the job. So from that, a gal um, knew that I taught voice and she asked, um, Hey, do you know of a voice teacher that can, you know, teach my, my daughter? And a voice that I swear was not mine, Jackie, I swear, came out of my mouth that said, sure, I can. <laughs> and I went, okay, I guess I can. And from that, I needed a vo a, an accompanist because I, you know, I could play scales, but nothing more. And I put an ad in the paper and I must have had 15 applicants. And I talked to each one of them, and there was one guy who I had this really nice heart feeling about, and I have been married to him now for 19 years. So if we, you don't think you're guided in life, oh, you're guided. <laughs> I love that story. <laughs> and then we have a piano voice studio that we've had for 20 years. He still teaches piano, you know. So, yeah. It's uh, follow that, follow that heart feeling that you have. That's there. I mean, those red flags when you meet a person, you're you're interacting with their heart field, right? Aren't you? Their Taurus field, that beautiful tor toroidal field around our heart. We're interacting with that, and that's telling you something. So, 
and even you're you're interacting with the the grid the universal grid the matrix that's how i knew i had that knowledge it came in well and growing up my dad was a jazz penis his whole life and i tipped my hat to him because you know we weren't wealthy because well, I mean, I think we could have been, but there was too many children. So he played it, played it safe and ran the union. Oh. And made six oh. nights a week, get a live rate. You know, all my all my teachers did know who he was. <laughs> but there's something, um, I I just tip my hat to him because he followed and did and was able, even though he worked day and night, was able to live his passion. Oh, and. Uh, oh. Would have been a happier man for it, too. And he, well, I don't know that he was real happy when he was younger because mm. of traumas and stuff that were unaware to him when he was younger. He did get to unfold and unravel all of, you know, what happened that shut him down. Um, but it, it's just, it's interesting, right? Because as you say, we're, we're healing generations, right? We're generational. I mean, these, these hurts and these things that energetically we're carrying are generations old yeah the ancestral healing is huge there's a lot of people doing that work through um through um past life regression through qhht if you're familiar with that modality too uh quantum quantum healing quantum healing where where they put you it's a hypnotherapy and then they regress you back okay way back way back yeah (laughs) other life way back (laughs) i did a podcast on the ayahuasca um journey there's quite and then i was just actually at my natural path yesterday and he had told me he had actually gone through it and he said it was just it was the first time he'd actually felt at one with and he's 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 an energy healer he's a chiropractor the natural path like like he's just a, wow. he's quite an incredible man and uh it's, it's interesting like we have so many incredible tools that we've had for centuries that were just kind of bringing to the forefront and making aware yes. right yes. we're gonna make it all hip and cool <laughs> people jump on the train <laughs> right well i'm amazed at how many people want sound bowls now every everybody's asking me do you teach do you teach this do you teach this where can i get these i i or, or they'll tell me oh i have a sound bowl at home i play it once in a while like a lot of people will say that i i think that's really amazing but they don't know what what really what sound therapy is what sound healing is so but it's so that's why i have a, a program called ancient medicine for modern times which talks about all these scientific factoids on presenting here plus i do uh you know a sound bath too sound meditation so it kind of makes it more relatable for them uh so they it, it's uh it, it becomes more um like it's natural because I'll, I'll compare it to music because music and sound therapy are very similar very similar they do similar things in our body i have experienced a sound bath once and i'm not sure why i haven't experienced it again just i guess just life and, and busyness um i have a coach that will will do the sound um bowls for me but there mm-hmm. it's just there's just I, I don't know enough about it but i really would love to learn because it's it immediately makes you feel at peace mm. Well, and I tell people that they don't necessarily have to have a sound bowl. They can use their voice. And uh, there's even just uh, like one sound. Um, I read this book. uh, I can't remember the name of the book, but it's by Peter Levine. And uh, he's a big name out now for uh, vagal toning, uh, for, you know, healing trauma. And he said that he came across this sound, a very simple sound, uh, from the ancient traditional Chinese medicine, ancient Chinese, and it's just a voo, V-O-O. Now, could you conceivably do that on any sound? Probably. But this is how you just make a low sound, voo. In fact, I'll take it, just put your hands on your chest if you want to do that, and your, yeah. your audience could do it too. Yeah. Any, what, whatever comfortable low sound for you, just do it three or four times and notice how you feel. Explain 
to me what's happening there because that vibration within here is doing something very powerful for yes, sure. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> and that was a video. Um, that's called, that's the power, that's the vibration, the resonance of your voice. Your vocal folds are the size of a dime, number one, and they are resonating uh, or vibrating extremely fast like on a woman's high c they are oscillating it's called at like something like a hundred times per second okay uh and the the last outer three layers uh it's called it's a mucous membrane the outer three layers are like jello that hasn't hardened yet so you're literally sounding singing vocalizing on fluid on water almost Yep. And the, the vibrations are so powerful that when they, they suffuse through your entire being and you mostly feel it you'll, in your chest, your neck and your head. But you can feel it as low as the lowest, you know, down in your uh, like your by your um, down in your abdomen as well. And you can certainly feel it in your back. So what's happening is those vibrations are percolating through your body and they are creating beautiful sacred geometric patterns on the on the on the uh, surface of the cells and in the water the fluid in your body and if you've seen videos of people who have um, uh, shown what sound does to a drop of water like on youtube or TikTok, right with those gorgeous patterns that's sacred geometry that's the sacred geometry of sound and i actually have a video on my youtube channel called the sacred geometry of sound if anybody wants to check it out um, my YouTube channel is Ruth Ratliff Voice, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, it uh, it's incredible. Once you see that, you're going to be like, huh? <laughs> what? what? What's going on there? <laughs> Each frequency makes a specific geometric pattern. Okay, it's like the, if anybody is familiar with the sacred geometry with the platonic solids. There's a great um, program on Gaia about sacred geometry right now, too. Um, but uh, I, and I keep going off on segues and losing my, my train of thought. It's because you're talking to me. So much information. <laughs> that's, that's because that's, that's my MO. <laughs> I'll take accountability for that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so what's happening is each frequency makes a specific geometric pattern. And then when you put it all together with the resonance of your voice, your voice has all these overtones. They're called partials or overtones above and below the pitch. Like you're hearing, uh, you're hearing one pitch, uh-uh, guess what? There's tons of frequencies above and below that pitch that make up the entire complexity of your voice. And that's what makes the human voice so arresting and compelling and healing is that it is, it, it's, it's way bigger than we hear with our ear. It can, it can go in, and so, as I say, it can trigger all those patterns, those cymatic patterns in our body. And that can actually realign our, we have frequencies in our body. Our, our cells actually sing to one another in frequency. Uh, and they communicate because they have little um, hair-like projections called cilia that are like little antenna that take in sound like it's nourishment. So when when you do your own voice, your your own voice is singing to your cells, and your body loves it because it's your it's your voice in your body. I love the word nourishment because that actually is is exactly what it feels like. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sound is nourishment. Yes energetic nourishment incredible yeah incredible incredible information love this <laughs> love 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 this so you teach um you teach the singing bowls i do not you don't no i do not i i educate on the um with my presentation okay. on the science uh, behind it but i do not teach the bowls as uh, not yet <laughs> <laughs> We need a new course. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when people come and they, if they wanted to come and um, and do some work with you, what does that look like? 
They can either uh, do it in person or virtually. If they do it virtually, I will do this type of setup with Zoom. It works very well with my Zoom and my nice blue Yeti microphone. They will be at home lying on a, uh, a bed or a couch and with earbuds or headphones. And then I do a personalized sound bath for them for 50 minutes. Uh, and if they come here in person, uh, I will put them on, this is a nice comfy massage table uh, with fully clothed with blanket over them and then uh, I put balls on or around their body as well and I also play the crystals and my gong and my monochord which is a stringed instrument as well and that's another, it's very, it's very compelling, it's, it's, a, it's actually more, more in person of course, you know. But that isn't always practical for people. Plus, I'm trying to reach a, a wider audience as well That's with the right. virtual. And, and the, um, you know, the energetic healing, like distant healing is really, I've been um, just doing some practicing and that with one of a coach that I have and just with some friends and um, really exciting because they'll say, you know, they were talking and at the same time I phone in and they're like, Oh my God, we were just talking about you. And I think Jackie was doing some work on me last night. And, 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 and the, it, anyways, it's very rewarding to know that your intention to, to heal or to, you know, light somebody up with white light and just to see them whole and healthy and pure. It matters. It happened. It, it, when we're sending those those thoughts, they're a vibration, probably like a sound vibration, I imagine, right? Well, it's our it's a frequency. Our thoughts are a frequency. Right. It's right? all the energy and vibration. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and it and it's a thing. And I and I also remember doing at Dr. Joe's, we at the end they did these um, you know, where we were healing children that were um, they had gotten calls um, asking. Dr. Joseph, there's a thousand people doing distant healing and it matters. Like I, what I have seen and experienced, <laughs> it's real. It's, and it, call it magic, call it whatever. It's, it's a real thing. And it's, it's, you know, something that you, you know, once you have a taste of that, you just, how do you not want to know more, <laughs> you know, to help and to, because when you're lifting, yes. then you lift right? Instead of this old formula of stepping on each other to get up onto the top of the ladder, you know, I, I'm so grateful for, for this work because it's to lift everybody, you know, it's, it's the opposite of what we have lived for a long time. Yes. Service to others rather than service to self. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it heals you. It makes you feel, yeah, yeah. I mean, whatever you're thinking negative thoughts about somebody, well, you're the one owning those, you know? You're the one who's actually doing more damage to yourself because they're your thoughts, your energy, and then you're projecting. And then, of course, we know what we get when we're projecting. We get it back. <laughs> so how powerful is this when you're doing this kind of healing and you're getting... And then so, you get more of that back from the universe yeah. and it's, and it's thousandfold, I think. So powerful. Yes. 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 And there's a, you know, there's a lot of talk and you see it all over YouTube about this one frequency is going to cure this one thing. And you know, that's, I disagree with that. Everybody, you know, everybody has their own. I think really it depends upon what your intention is. Um, there's a very famous sound healer, Jonathan Goldman, and his he has a formula, intention plus frequency equals healing. But intention trumps frequency. So I don't think, you know, there's a big, uh, um, if you've heard about the big controversy between 440 hertz and 432 hertz, the tuning, you know, 440 is evil, you know, 432 is not. My balls are tuned to 440. There's no evil there or, or whatever. It's... It, it's me, it's whatever's coming through me, and my intention for my clients, right? Mm -hmm. That's, I believe is, as you say, your intention with your thoughts is so powerful. Yeah, because I think really what's happening is we're tapping into to our God source, our connection, 
right? Mm -hmm. And then the more we tap in to that and the higher our, our intention is of love and of service, I mean, it just, yeah, it just <laughs> explodes, right? Exponentially, yes. Yes. So would you like me to do a little sample sound I therapy? Love, for love, love that. All right, love, great. Love that. Okay. So if you're sitting in a chair, just get yourself a little relaxed in that chair. Just nestle down. And allow your breath to find a little deeper expression now. Just breathe right from the bottom of your body, right from that root chakra. And you can exhale on a sigh. Anything that's holding you back right now from relaxing a little deeper, just little cares or concerns. Ah, let it out. Allow yourself to just be for this short time we're together.
And just start taking now a deeper breath. <sighs> Let the breath bring your attention back into your body. I'm in a small room here, so I don't have a lot of oh, space. Oh, that was lovely. <laughs> I'm going to open my eyes, just have a look at see what you were picking up and doing. Very nice. Wow. Hmm. So I'm going to put uh, all of your information on how to contact you along with your story with our podcast. And um, to sign up for a sound bath healing, we can just go to your website. Your go web to my website. Yes, yes. And you can uh, log on right there where it says book a session. Or you can just talk to me first. Uh, I have a, I offer a 30-minute call, a uh, free call to just uh, like, a, you know, a discovery call to see what, what would suit you best or just to get to know each other too, which is always nice. Yeah, just so for people who aren't familiar so they feel right. comfortable. Yes. But you're amazing. Uh, oh. What a gift to have met you and... Uh, I hope to cross paths with you again soon. <laughs> Likewise, Jackie, thank you so much. What a pleasure to speak with you today. And thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, thank you. I am grateful. Mwah. Take care of yourself and we will, uh, we will touch base on a sound bath, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it would be my honor. <laughs> okay. Take care, Ruth. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.